Well, I received a question from a flute player the other day, and he was explaining how his challenge is to keep in time. Now, obviously, I don't know the physical aspects of actually playing that flute, not being a, a flautist myself. However, he was stating that when he plays and tries to keep time, he will tap his foot, but he will go with his own time and that tapping of the foot will go with him as opposed to actually keeping that time steady. So, and this kind of brings me on to talk about the metronome. And in a way, the metronome can really be our best friend. It can be hugely helpful. So let's imagine I take a, a straightforward rhythm. So I put the metronome on the first beat of each four semiquavers. Like that. Then I might think to myself, OK, I'll pop the metronome every quaver. And that gives a very different feel as well. And it's important to use the metronome as a musical tool, not just something that goes click and is quite cold. And then I may put that metronome onto every minimum beat. And that's interesting because you've got to kind of look after yourself for two whole beats really and that would be a good test as regards to your timing. Um, another way really to consider is to put the metronome off the beat. So and really try to play with that idea and again you can spread the metronome out quite quite a bit more. So there's lots of different ways there. You might also want to consider, well, do I want to be completely and utterly with the click or do I want to be slightly ahead of the beat or slightly, slightly behind that beat or absolutely on it? So that's, again, something for you to experiment with. But no matter how many years you've been playing or what your experience is, we all need that metronome to just line ourselves up because sometimes Sometimes we may end up rushing if a passage is really difficult or we find that oh, we've forgotten to breathe and that can affect our timing and all sorts of things. So see that metronome as an extension of your musical journey.